Hey guys, so this is my little refinery I've been building. Uh, I built it in creative and then put it into uh, survival because it behaves oddly if um, exposed to infinite inventory sizes. So, this is um, a big wheel that serves no real practical purpose except um, looks. Uh, the ore is pumped down on top of it and it is put down here in batches. From here it is transported to the tube, into a connector and then into the refineries. There are eight all in all, uh, could probably do with less, but yeah. Um, from there it is pumped out and into the assemblies. Um, this pipe will be uh, active most of the time because as many of you may have experienced uh, sorting stuff with um, conveyors isn't uh, well easy due to the fact that you can't really dictate what goes where so the basic premise here is that ore that goes into the refinery this inventory uh, will not be sucked out by a connector uh, like so the uh, components that goes into assemblers will not uh, leave the assemblers inventory until they are made into stuff uh, and cannot be sucked out by connectors. So basically what we are doing here is we are pumping the ore in through the conveyor system. It will go through the um, refineries and into the connector where it will be shut out this way. and. Well, hopefully it will stay in the refineries, but yeah, some of it goes this way, along with construct components, refined uh, materials, sorry. And then it will get, uh, normally it won't leave the collector, but we have a um, feedback system of connectors on the other side of this wall that will suck the stuff through here and back into the start of the refining system so it will all go in a big circle um, and the ore that gets stuck in the refinery and the materials that are refined that get stuck here stays here so they won't uh, follow the circuit around uh, and that will basically repeat until everything is in its place anyhow let's uh, get some ore dumped and see how this goes There we go, that should, unless I have the same inventory bug again. Nope, there we go. So, ore goes out of the ship, is transported atop the wheel, and dropped down. Some of it may uh, pop out because of hitting these edges, but generally it works pretty well. I'm not sure why that block stays, there we go. So yeah, pump through tubes. To the refinery, and as you can see, a lot of it gets dropped in here along with the uh, refined components, and that will keep going in the loop until it is all stuck inside the refineries. And as you can see, we're starting getting components. This is quite ineffective. I need to come up with a better way of um, making the components stick. Because as you can see, it goes up, but not nearly at the rate it's pumped out of the refineries. Uh, so I need to figure out something there. I may, may do some experimentation with the uh, conveyor priorities. Uh, as in, if they prioritize different sites. I have seen some people in the forum doing some experimentation with that. But that just seems to make uh, construction really annoying and difficult because you get different orientations of the conveyors as you place them uh, but yeah I may spend some time doing that I also need to make a video on gravity as I promised uh, in one of my comments but yeah as you can see it is all working rather smoothly we've got an ore coming in there, we've got components coming out here it's all good um, main reason for this being so big and bulky is because I really like the visual part. I like, uh, well not animations, but I like to see stuff happen in games, you know. 
see the co ore come from the ship into the system and see the stuff coming out of the refineries and stuff instead of it all just being one big square where you pub, put ore in one side and pick the components up on the other side. That's just, just dull. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you liked it and thank you for watching.